told a story the other day about the day the mules went crazy and this is kind of a follow-up to it the army was having their last big sale of buffalo the last buffalo herd the army had down at fort reno oklahoma was being sold at arnett oklahoma and my dad went down there my dad and uncle and they bought this buffalo bull young bull I have no idea what he wanted with a buffalo bull, but they bought it. Put it in the back of the pickup and it nearly turned the pickup over three or four times and they finally got it calmed down and drove back home. They decided to leave it in the pickup overnight so it would calm down a little. Next morning they came out there and they were standing there looking at him and snorting at him and they opened the gate and let him down the chute into the corral and he put his head down, ran through the chicken house tore it up and threw the corral fence over there and headed for the house. My dad grabbed his 30-30 and shot it. Now he had a dead buffalo on his hands. Well, in the meantime, they had a mobile meat market going. They had butcher a yearling, and they had this old ice truck, and they'd put several blocks of ice in there, and it had a butcher block in it. And they'd go out to the small towns around there in the oil camps and carbon camps where they didn't have a grocery store or any fresh meat and they would sell meat door to door. Well, by the time the day was over, they had sold a yearling for twice what they could have gotten for it on the hoof. And so they butchered that buffalo and put his head up on top of the, uh, the cab and started out selling buffalo. And they was getting a nickel a pound more for the buffalo than they had good beef. Pretty soon they ran out of buffalo. So they thought it over and talked it over and went out and shot one of those mules, dragged it in, dressed it out, and they sold it out as buffalo, and two days later they shot the other one and sold it for buffalo. And they must have sold 2,000 pounds of buffalo meat off that one buffalo.